One of the Americans killed is 11-year-old Kieran Shafritz de Zoiza. He lived in Washington, D.C., but was studying abroad in Sri Lanka. Our Kristen Drummond is live in the newsroom after speaking with the child's father and grandmother, who are both here in Las Vegas. Kristen. John, a devastating time for the young boy's family. His grandparents have lived in Las Vegas for roughly 20 years. His father has a home in San Diego and flew up here to be with his parents after learning about the terrorist attack that killed his son. Alexander Arrow and Louise Schaffritz remember Kieran as a young boy with a lot of worldly experience and dreams of being a neuroscientist. Arrow says his son already traveled to five continents before his teen years. The fifth grader attended a prestigious private school in Washington, D.C., but was recently studying abroad in Sri Lanka, where his mother's side of the family lives. Arrow rate collects calling Kieran less than an hour before the attack. His son's last response via text was, I can't talk right now, and that was because he was in an elevator going to breakfast at the Cinnamon Grand Hotel. Well, less than an hour later, Arrow says shrapnel from the explosion pierced his son's heart and killed him. Arrow's last memories of his son include kayaking together on a lake about two weeks ago, a special moment that Arrow says Kieran's mother blurted out at the hospital while listing reasons why Kieran couldn't die. When he needs to come back and go kayaking with you again. <laughs> He, he, he needs, he, he, she said, he told me how, he, he, he needs to come back and go kayaking again. They don't know what they robbed. All families have lost loved ones and, and the world has lost Kieran and he was going to do great things. His family adds Kieran's aspirations included attending Harvard University, his parents' alma mater. Arrow says potential services for Kieran may take place in San Diego and Washington, D.C. A GoFundMe page already has raised nearly $15,000 to help cover expenses. John.